So welcome to Challenge the Road. Got you here, yeah. got you in the car. Go for a drive. Did you see how good it is now? It sounds very loud and we're only doing like, like nothing. It should sound more like a V8. It does, it does. It sounds so much heavier, muscular. It doesn't sound like it looks. Yeah, I know. Which, yeah. which is a good thing. Yeah. Because we all know by now, <laughs> I've never been a fan of this shape Aston Martin, but the way it makes you feel is what you're after, right? All right, let's go. Are we doing so a little bit? Yeah, we can go a little okay. bit. just needs a little bit to warm up, but it should feel a little bit better to change gear. Or change the oils in it just to loosen it up a bit. So the GT8 had quite a di distinctive sound where it didn't have a lot, then it would come in with the valve, but this would be it's quite a constant similar V8 sound most of the time. This, yeah, this this kicks in much lower down mm. and it does sound so much more aggressive. It sounds a lot more, I mean if you're trying to match this to the GT8 then it sounds an awful lot more like the GT8 than it ever did. Yeah. And I mean, what we at? We're at just over 2,000 revs and it's starting to rumble and you can feel it in your belly, whereas the GT8, it kicks in at about 4,000 revs. So it does kind of make you feel special when you when you push the car, but and I kind of like before, this. before, it was quite quiet, wasn't it? Yeah. When I it was standard. This, this almost, I like this sound. This, this sounded a bit placid, if I'm honest, right from the start, but now this sounds anything but placid. It sounds, yeah, kind of aggressive and... The good thing is you don't actually have to go that fast to be enjoying it and have that involvement. Yeah. I remember the first time we drove it actually, I remember thinking, look at that, it's quite nice because you can kind of just talk to each other whilst you're whilst you're driving and now the talking is a little bit more raised because it's... Yeah, because you've got that. Yeah, the environment, it feels a bit more enclosed, it feels a bit more, it's surrounding you with the atmosphere of the car. That's what you needed. The one thing I did do was try and make it that if you do lift off, <laughs> and you just cruise, yeah. you can still have it quite quiet. I still, it's still I mean, very drivable. Yeah. But, but you really, know it's there. Don't you it? never really forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Now. Whereas before, you didn't really know until you started to push it. Now it's always there. It's always. And again, it's, if you're going to drive an Aston Martin, I feel like you need to have that feeling of driving a special car, yeah. regardless of whether it cost you 200 grand or in the 50s. What do you feel in the steering? Does it feel a lot more direct, a lot it, more so it should do? Well, it does. I know you've done the spacers and I know you've put new new tyres on it, so that definitely makes it feel a lot more planted and responsive. Um, solid yeah it feels a little bit more rigid because you, you, you've lowered it what 17 mil did you say yeah i think 17 yeah. and 22 on the back but what right. i did was is i softened off the dampers right because what happens is if you put say a coil over suspension on you get stiff springs right and then you're trying it and it's very hard on the roads it's more a track setup so what we did was is we used the existing springs yeah and then put on a damper and then what that did was just give us that, that sort of compliance yeah. across yeah, the ground, it? so it's not like it's whoa, rock hard. No, it's not rock hard. It's it's easily drivable, but it does feel much more. It feels much more sporty. Yeah, okay. yes. yeah, and yeah. I suppose that's where the the GT8 isn't just uh, a stunning looking motor with a massive great big spoiler and some skirts and some mm. bits and bobs and a loud exhaust on it. It is much more track focused. And if you're going to try and make this one look more like that then that sort of track focused feel is what you need to try and achieve, but keep it sort of drivable. And I would say, I'd say you've done a pretty good job, yeah. mate. <laughs> well, I've been out driving it obviously quite a bit and I really enjoy it now. I feel yeah. that, you know, I'm gonna give some, some options on the exhaust as well, maybe slightly quieter if you wanted it, but, this was supposed to be sort of a car for a weekend or a quick drive. Yeah. Um, so you could have it a bit quieter if you wanted, if you was going to use it more day to day. But I feel there's not a lot more I can do now. So we've done brake pads, dampers, yep. lowered the springs. We've done spacers. We've put four, the tyres feel fantastic in 4S. Um, the it's just not, really good, really compliant. You know? It's not. It's not lacking an awful lot either, is it? Like he's got 
Well, we got the time so down, didn't I? It's got an awful lot yeah. of run. Yeah, well, I got that 30 to 70 time down about 0.8 of a second with... Did you, you know, a lot of eight tenths? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, we put a GT4 airbox. Right. We took the um, the back box, saved about, I think, 70 pounds. Battery change, another 30 pounds. Right. We've got the seats. That's going to change, you know, another 50 to 60 pounds off. Yeah. But these seats, I still feel like I'm sitting on them. And I think yeah, we'll yeah, they're quite ones. tight. Yeah, once they're... You've got a lockdown bum, seats. same as me, yeah. though, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it does... I, see, I didn't realise the actual performance had increased that much as well. I just thought it was like... I thought it was me not being able to drive yeah. the fast cars over, over the last well, couple of weeks. Well, you've got more, a bit more torque now, and it feels a bit freer, and it feels like it wants to go, whereas before you had to keep yeah. pushing it, didn't you? And what I did with the brake pads, because the original pads, if you remember, are quite squeaky. Yeah. So we've managed to cure that with the new pads, but give it more bite, and nice. there's not much brake dust. So it's taken quite a bit of time to get the car. You know, I've had a lot of people's help. I've had Alex at CSP's help, VVS, yeah. um, Appleby Motorsport of help. So it's been a lot of driving around different areas to get it right. You know, and I feel I'm. I am onto something. I feel it's a great road car now. It is a good road car, mate. It's uh, a great road car. The only downside is if I bought this off you and then we went for a road trip and you bought the GTA. <laughs> That's the only downside. <laughs> and it will always yeah. be its Achilles heel. But but right now, if you said to me, is it is it a lot of car for the money? I'd be like, yeah. You, I think you're going to, for the money, struggle to buy. Well, I can't see what you could because you've got a nice boot, it's yeah. Aston Martin badge. So this one we're going to sell at Goodwood. Revive a sound man. Don't, no, I, I don't give people <laughs> options. Like I, anyone that because it's because of the way it drives and feels now. You know, it is a lot more planted. I think quieting it down would be a really bad move anyway. Yeah, I mean it saves like, so much weight. Like a roll concert with some earbuds in. You know, why would you? You wouldn't do it, would you? You just you suck it up. It's a good. It's a good feeling, mate. I think it's. Definitely a different definitely car. definitely a feel-good car. No, definitely yeah, yeah. a different feel to the very first time I drove it, which I was... No, I weren't underwhelmed. You're never underwhelmed when you're driving Aston Martin. But I, I will be honest, I was like, oh my. Oh my. But now, now I'll be like, yeah, I see why you bought that. Because it sounds great. It feels nice. You know, it's... It feels like I could take it on the road, uh, on the track, and actually have a good day. Yeah, I think it'd actually be a um, very good track car, um, but even with, with... Manageable. Well, with the GTA, I mean, I haven't taken it on a track, but it wasn't, uh, from what the reports I've heard, it hasn't, wasn't that great a track car. Oh, really? So I think actually it might be nice for us to do a track day maybe in both and just see. I think this would go really well on the track, yeah. really well. Well, you take this one then. Yeah, <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll see if I can keep up with you in the GTA. Yeah, well, yeah. I've been going backwards and forwards in the cars, yeah. and I enjoy this more on the road, I must admit that, than the GTA. The GTA, I think, is a difficult... I mean, and we've said it many times, obviously, because we spoke about it a lot. The GTA is a difficult car to get in and get used to really quickly. You yeah. know, the firm suspension, uh, or the firm steering, the for sure. seems to drop off. Yeah. It, you know, you, you, it seems that at some point it goes very light, like there's nothing there and you can stall it. Um, whereas the clutch on this, they said it was really heavy originally, but I, I don't see much of a problem with the clutch at the moment. No, you know. well, look, maybe it's a thing of the cars, I don't know, I haven't yeah. driven a lot of them. But what I will say is that it's an easier car to just jump in and drive than the GTA. And I've got my biggest Nike Air Max pump things on at the moment, so I'm struggling yes. to push the brake pedal and not get the accelerator at the same time. But it is a much more manageable car. That's well, let's put it up here under the bridge because you like this section, don't you? Let's go second. Did it hit the brakes? Did it test the brakes? Really brake on. Oh yeah. How much more do you need? Yeah, well you don't need more, do you? No. But the other thing, because it's not as quick as all these McLarens and everything, you feel like you're driving and you're able to rev it out. Yeah, again, it's yeah. the old clash, cliche, isn't it? It's better to drive a slow car fast yeah. than the, the fast car slow. I mean, this isn't slow by any means, but it's not like your scooter here. It's not as sporty, not as nowhere near as quick, but 
the difference is when you put your foot your right boot down now it does it feels it yeah. it sounds it you know So come on then, if you had to, if you're in the market for an Ashton U, where you've driven the standard one, I got it to the performance point where I don't think I can do much more. What do you think? If I wanted to buy a V8 Vantage, I wouldn't go and buy a standard one. I'd want it to be sound and drive like this. Right. Okay. Now, now, not that the standard ones were were bad, right? I was I was more and more impressed than I thought I was going to with a standard car, right? It's an Aston Martin. Yeah. You're gonna, you, you've got to be a dick if you if you don't drive them and enjoy them, but. This is a different animal, you know, and I would want my V8 Vantage to sound like that. That's, that's how I'd want my car to sound, you know. Pull up to the lights, you've got a standard one, you've got this one. This one just feels better, sounds better, drives better, you know. Well, that's every how I, that's how I see it. is better now, isn't it? We're at the point yeah. of... I like the it's not so mundane, it's, right. not, it's just not so normal. Yeah, yeah, the popping call, cool. and it, but it's it's not like a a chavy whoosh, no, bang, no, pop. Yeah, you know, it sounds like a yeah, it's real sort of solid, yeah, classy, yeah, engine, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm not just saying that because you're sitting here and you want to sell it. I'm saying that because it's a better version than what it was. Yeah, right. And so for me, if I'm going to go out and buy one, I want this one or one like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want one that sounds. Blah. And I don't want one that feels a tiny bit bogey and a bit soft underfoot. I want one that's going to be a little bit more, that's been down the gym. Yeah. And I think a lot of people can get stuck in, they want an original car, standard car, yeah. but actually it wasn't great. You know, the gear change wasn't, the, the fluids in the gear change weren't great, the brakes weren't great. You know, and when you start getting all that ready, you start to see then performance benefits all the way through. Yeah. You know, just you know, changing the oil in the brake lines, all that stuff, just more performance all the time. Yeah. Just, so just, just feels better, mate. Like, mm. you're, you're going to spend, spend that amount of money, money on a car. car. I don't think you're going to buy this for a daily drive. You're going to buy this for a weekend car. Yeah. You're going to buy it for a weekend well, we car. Well, we like want, a present, isn't it? Yeah, you, you, wanna... you want something that's going to make you feel a bit more special. This makes you feel a lot more special than the standard, or what, than what it was what, two months ago, three months ago? Yeah. I don't know how long you've been working there. Um, but yeah, it just feels like a different animal. And you pull it out as, you know, you wanted to try to emulate the GT8, right? Buying this car would be a good move, unless someone in the GT8 pulled up next year. Yeah. That's the only time you're gonna be like, oh. Which isn't gonna happen very often. Though. It ain't gonna happen very often. And then you'd sit there and go, but I did save 100 grand. Yeah. Like, at is least, this, is there 100,000 the pounds difference? Going up. I don't yeah. know, I, I, I genuinely don't know. Like performance wise, we was talking about it. The GTA is a little bit snappier and it does have yeah. more pull at the top end, but this has got enough in the tank to satisfy anyone. Yeah. I'm, I'm really pleased with it because it's taken a long time be. going backwards and forwards and trying to, and trying to analyze, analyze everything, everything and think what is the best exhaust, what is, for what I'm trying to do. Yeah. It takes time going backwards and forwards, waiting for parts. Like, I'm waiting for the seats. I think they make a big difference. I've got Apple CarPlay going in. Yeah. You know, you've got a really good car then, all-round car. I think the way it sounds and the way it drives, I don't know what your expectations were, but you've exceeded my expectations of what you would achieve. Inside, yeah, you could put some sportier seats on. It might not be for everybody's cup of tea, whatever, you know. Outside, if you like this shape, this is probably the best one you're going to get. I mean, this this actual one's got really low like, miles. Like, 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 so, a thousand miles. Yeah. So oh, yeah. And you put a thousand of them on. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I, I, well, the biggest thing for me, I think, the the best upgrade on the car is the suspension because this car flows. I mean, these are very bad roads, but once you start getting some pace on, it just flows and flows with the yeah. road. Um, I've been really pleased with that. That's probably past my expectation, really, with the car. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice, comfortable drive. That, that makes you do it. Yeah, it does. It's a great weekend car, mate. Mm. That's it. Go forward and go up in. And you really, she got some nice little. And you're not even putting your foot down to achieve that. You know, you can. Feel 
feel the road underneath you. The, the nose points wherever you want it to go. You know. Yeah, it's very pointy now. Really, it's really it's before you get that little bit of play. It feels yeah. right on it. It feels safe. It feels like you can actually drive the car quite hard, and you're not in any trouble, or you're not going to be in any trouble. You know, it's well. The Vantage nice is a very good race car. I won a lot of GT. I know. GT I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, driving, I'm driving the V12 on Grand Turismo recently. <laughs> Well, you keep sending me all the pictures of your liveries on me. Yeah, like, you, should, you definitely need to make... Well, we're going to do a green and bronze on it. So I've sold a second one of these. Yeah. And that's going to go to Logic. And they're going to do a green with the bronze DBS 20 wheel, 20-inch 20 right. rims. And then keep the performance all the same. And I, I think, think this is awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's a good car, mate. It's all right, let's head back. And we're, we'll wrap it up now. So, thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs yeah. up. Yeah, I would say you've exceeded my expectations. Um, I think yours were quite high, mine were quite low, and we're definitely ain't in the middle. You're, you're a lot closer to where you wanted to be than where I expected you to be. So yeah, good, good job, mate. I would say, good job. Right, let's accelerate up here, and we've finished the video. You don't need to really? accelerate. You just no, does it. Does it two thousand horsepower? That's what I like about it. It's cool. Right, we'll see you all soon, guys. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, when Dean slowed down, we'll hopefully make our way back. We're See doing you all soon. 30. <laughs> <laughs>